Uh, that, that lake effect kicked in and uh, reminded us that it's still winter. In fact, uh, we've got a slow start to what will become another stormy late winter day. This morning, a few snow showers, mainly along and over some of the higher terrain, southwest Utah, as well as in the north. So some of you have a few flurries, but Nice to not have to deal with that this morning. You do have to brave yourself for the cold, though. It's 30, 31 degrees currently in Salt Lake City, low 20s in Evanston, mid 20s in Hanksville, and in St. George, a lot warmer than that. You're starting out at 42. Salt Lake will actually make it up to 50, so while that is a little bit below average for this time of year, a uh, decent warm up behind. Uh, that stormy weather. Temperature will be in the upper 30s in Park City, upper 50s in St. George. Now it'll become partly cloudy across uh, much of the north in the south. Clouds will be increasing uh, by the afternoon to start to get uh, some showers going and those will become more widespread later tonight into tomorrow. But by tonight there could be 6 to 12 inches of snow in the Uintas, um, mainly off to the east of Mirror Lake and then two to six inches south of I-80 in southwest Wyoming. But by uh, early tomorrow into Saturday, that's when some heavier snow expected, mainly over the higher terrain of central and southern Utah. A foot or two, there could be six to 12 inches uh, near Bryce Canyon, close to that amount near Capitol Reef and other areas could get some minor accumulations. That's all because of the storm that's settling in over northern Arizona. It's moisture wrapped around that that'll keep the wet weather going in that part of the state. But the easterly flow resulting in that is also leading to some strong winds that are expected today. Strong downslope and canyon winds pretty much from Salt Lake County north. So uh, the strongest winds will be through the canyons, but even driving along and east of the I-15 corridor as well as Highway 89, you could be under the gun later today. And not just along the Wasatch Front, there are also going to be some gusty winds picking up over northeast Utah, including Castle Country, as well as the northwest deserts. But uh, the bulk of the action will be from Salt Lake County North. Some of those canyon winds in Davis and Weber counties could be above 70 miles per hour, and we might even see some of the winds in uh, Salt Lake Valley as well as northern Wasatch Front uh, up near 60 miles per hour. Strong canyon winds in Washington County as well. Uh, get some showers tomorrow in St. George. Valley rain, mountain snow expected in the south heading into the weekend, but then by the end of it, you'll be drying out. And by next week, becoming sunny with temperature in St. George climbing all the way up near 70. And in Salt Lake City, uh, the winds will be decreasing tomorrow morning, so things quiet down heading into the weekend, which looks good. It'll be mostly sunny with high pressure building. We'll gradually be warming up and make it all the way into the mid-60s by this coming Tuesday and Wednesday.